effect of gyroscopic couple on ships. In previous lectures, we have seen the introduction to gyroscopic couple. We have studied the effect of gyroscopic couple on ships using method one. During steering and pitching, we have also seen the effect of gyroscopic couple on ships during steering using method two. Now we will see the effect of gyroscopic couple on ships during pitching using method two. So I recommend you to watch my videos on method one for steering and pitching and introduction to gyroscopic couple before watching this video. Now let us take an example where a rotor rotates counterclockwise as seen from the front side and the ship pitches upward means bow of the ship is rising in upward direction from its mean position. Now in method 2 we make use of coordinate system consisting of mutually perpendicular axis from three mutually perpendicular plane system. We place the observer at the end of positive x axis always and in between the observer and positive x axis we draw the ship along the x axis. Now as seen by the observer from front side rotor of the ship is rotating in counterclockwise sense. So we have to look at the ship from front side so I have drawn the ship along x axis such that its front side is towards the observer okay this is first thing you have to do draw the ship in correct position now as seen from the front side rotor is rotating in counterclockwise sense so I have marked the direction of rotor using a circular arrow and the speed with which the rotor is rotating about its own axis is called as spin velocity which is represented by omega okay I have represented angular speed of spin using omega omega is counterclockwise in sense the next thing is drawing the vector representing the spin velocity that vector is called as spin vector we draw that vector using right hand screw rule. So first of all we will identify the plane in which this velocity acts. Now the plane in which this velocity acts is the plane perpendicular to the axis of spin. This is the axis of spin about which the rotor is rotating. So the plane of spin or the plane of angular velocity of rotor will be the plane perpendicular to this axis that is plane y o z is the plane of motion of rotor or the plane of spin velocity omega. Now go into that plane, take your right hand into that plane and turn the fingers of your right hand in the direction of omega and your thumb will point in the direction of vector representing omega. Okay, so when I do that I get the direction of spin vector and it is towards the right. Okay. Now we place the spin vector at the origin of the coordinate system in the obtained direction. <coughs> now the precision ship is pitching with bow rising upwards. This motion of ship is called as precision okay. and this precision takes place in the vertical plane as seen from the front side or as seen along the z-axis. So we indicate the speed with which the ship, the bow of the ship rises upwards by omega p. This is called as precision velocity. The speed with which the bow of ship is rising upwards is called as precision speed omega p. Now the plane of precision is x o y, the plane in which the bow rises upwards is the vertical plane as seen along the z axis. So we can represent omega p in this plane 
because the motion takes place in this plane. So this is precision plane. So we will represent the precision velocity using a circular arrow in this plane. Okay. So this is the direction of precision velocity or the direction in which the bow rises upwards and this is happening in this plane, precision plane. So we have represented precision velocity in precision plane. Now we will show the vector of precision or the vector representing omega p. Okay. Okay. Now we will represent vector representing omega p that is precision vector. Precision vector will be perpendicular to the plane of precision and its direction will be given by the right hand screw rule. So we go into the precision plane, we turn the fingers of our right hand in the direction of omega p and my thumb will point in the direction of vector representing omega p that is precision vector. So after doing that we get the precision vector along oz. Okay. My fingers are curled in the direction of omega p. Now thumb will point in this direction. That is the direction of precision vector. The next <coughs> is the active gyroscopic couple vector. We get the active gyroscopic couple vector by rotating the spin vector through 90 degrees in the direction of precision velocity omega p. Okay. So this is my spin vector. I have to rotate this spin vector in precision plane by 90 degrees in the direction of omega p. So I will rotate this vector in this direction that is counterclockwise in this plane that is plane of precision to get the direction of active gyroscopic couple vector. And when I do that, I get the vector along OY. This vector is represented as CG. Active gyroscopic couple vector is in upward direction. Now we know that reactive gyroscopic couple vector is opposite to the active couple vector. So it will go downwards along O, Y dash. Now this vector shown in red color is the vector of reactive gyroscopic couple CR. Now to find the sense of reactive gyroscopic couple vector CR, we will make use of right hand rule again. Hold this vector in your right hand such that the thumb points in the direction of arrow. Okay. Now for this I have to curl my fingers like this clockwise as seen from the top side. So this is the sense of reactive gyroscopic couple vector CR. Okay. Now let us identify the plane in which this vector CR acts. This couple CR acts. It will act in the plane which is perpendicular to its vector. Now the plane perpendicular to vector of CR is the plane x o z right x o z is perpendicular to the vector representing c r this red vector so this quantity must act in this plane x o z so c r reactive couple acts in horizontal plane x o z now what will be its effect on the ship now the effect of CR on the ship will be like this. It will turn the bow towards the starboard side or to the right. So its effect is to steer the ship to right or starboard side. So I have taken only one example. You can solve for eight different cases. Okay. Rotor rotates clockwise as seen from the fore end and the bow moves upward. Rotor rotates clockwise as seen from the fore end and the bow moves downwards. Again the rotor rotates clockwise but now as seen from the stern end and the bow moves upwards and the rotor rotates clockwise as seen from the stern end 
and the bow moves downwards. And four more cases by changing the direction of rotation of rotor from clockwise to counterclockwise. So please do solve these eight cases and obtain the effect of gyroscopic couple on the ship during pitching. Thank you.